Royal Australian Navy needs manned unmanned teaming, MUM-T, capability for its surface fleet. The strategy resembles the Royal Australian Air Force's manned and unmanned teaming capability with the F-35 stealth jets and loyal wingman drones. The application of manned unmanned teaming, MUM-T, combat systems in the Indo-Pacific is closer than we think. Unmanned surface vessels can solve the Navy's chronic manpower shortage issues. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. The Royal Australian Navy discussed its plans to overcome the current limitations of the MUM-T concept by considering flagship projects such as Hobart-class destroyers, Hunter-class frigates, and general-purpose frigates capable of operating and commanding unmanned assets as replacements for the current small offshore patrol boats. A 100-ton class combat unmanned surface vessel, USV, designed for close combat and conducting manned-unmanned combined maritime security operations alongside the offshore patrol boat, OPV. The Royal Australian Navy must consider larger USVs for its future fleet because they offer more capabilities than small, tactical USVs. Likewise, Global Defense Corp. understands South Korea is currently looking at a combat USV design, with Hanwha Systems and Lignex-1 proposing their solution and design. Lignex-1 has been developing the Sea Sword series of uncrewed surface vessels, USV. Australia must award possible shipbuilders, robotics and automation companies to develop and enhance surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities and rapid response for forward and key Australian naval bases and ports. Modularizing weapons and detection systems will enable vessels to support a wide range of mission equipment, and plans are underway to diversify their functionalities. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit globaldefensecorp.com. Follow us on X, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram.